Here we have Elon's leg, my little landing platform, which we shall see in perfect glory coming down. Whoa! Down there. Well, right, come and start filming this. Let me get something to put the camera on. Oh, no, you can't, can it? Right, I need to not be holding this thing. Jesus, look at the watts piling in. Right, I'm going to turn on this thing and start dumping some electricity out the battery. You'll see the battery yeah. voltage start going down. This is the power coming in. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're taking 330 watts out. Jesus Christ, that thing's up here. Whoa. I just turned out the wind. You can leave it on this for a bit, but. That was going on that. And the squeak has gone. The squeak has gone, did my you, friends. Did you electrocute yourself? No, but I thought I was going to electrocute myself at a minute. What happened is, it went up to 80 volts literally went up to 80 volts on the meter and everything was going a bit tits up so sweet yeah so all that hassle and we finally got it working we shall keep you posted on the energy figures well that's pretty crazy folks that meter for a second uh, went up to 80 volts so there is some power in these motors as i said i've got this speed controller rammed up to full so i've got a constant load on the battery system of 300 odd watts and even uh, if we're not making 300 watts at the moment I'm just going to turn the speed controller off and see if the power goes up as that speed controller is off now so we're only drawing seven I mean it's not even started getting really windy yet guys we're going to start seeing some big numbers hopefully sweet it's been pretty exhausting so far so I'm going to go in and have a cup of tea and then we'll come out and we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, this meter won't record the maximum power, if that makes sense. It records the power created, but uh, I'll be filming out here plenty, so and you can hear the wind is getting up a beauty, so. Straight up to 28 volts. Like I keep saying, sorry, it did go up to 80 on the meter when I first took the brake off. He's ready my friend, that is in warp speed. That is in absolute warp speed. Sweet! Wind's picking up my friends. Uh, we've got a few rattles. But so far so good. Seems to look at it following the wind extremely well today. Now I've sorted out the top of the tower. Uh, a couple of the guide ropes still need tightening up so I better get that done, haven't I? I've got this old video camera recording the meter because uh, the battery lasts a few hours so I don't have to worry about it. Watch when I turn the dump load off. I'm going to turn the dump load off now. So yeah, running extremely well at the minute and we shall have all the peak power figures because this camera will record them. Sweet. It's funny because the chain and the motor actually cause a constant drag 
on the blade, so to speak, so that will stop it from overspeeding, I believe. The danger is with the tower being blown over more than anything else, it's not going to come off the tower. The blade should be fine. Uh, the shaft on that might be the dodgy bit where I've welded it. Push back a little. Yeah, the, the best of the wind is to start coming in a couple of hours, so this is just getting warmed up at the minute.